All right, I'm about to replace a water pump, uh, 70 horsepower, Evinrude outboard. I just bought the motor, it runs. Um, I pulled the lower unit off because this particular model doesn't have a telltale. The telltale is a little P-stream coming out of the side of the motor. It doesn't have one, so you don't know for sure that the water pump is working as well as it should. So I'm gonna replace it just for craps and giggles. All right, so uh, for this, you can see, all right. So this is your drive shaft right here. And this is the top housing. This is the housing for your water pump. It's got four bolts. One, two, three, and four. You have to pull those off in order to get this housing off. That's what I'm going to do right now. Let's get to it. All right, extra windy. This is a 7 16 Oh my god. 7 16 Hold it. All right, again, sorry it's windy outside. I had to uh, set the camera down for a second in order to break these freaking bolts loose because they were tight as crap. All right, I got all the bolts. They're all broke loose. Pull that out. One. Two, three, four. This O ring right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's an O ring here. No, you can't see it. There you go. That's the O ring. Pulling it off. Shit. Alright. Pull this off. Ah, it's off. Uh, oh my god. Look at that. So, this obviously was not doing what it was supposed to do. You can see like not even all the splines are even facing the same direction. That's bad. Yeah, this water pump was not pumping water efficiently at all, so. It's a good thing I'm rebuilding this. base plate just slide that right off like that uh th yeah there should have been a gasket in here there's a gasket in the new kit i'll put that back in so uh the benefit of this is there's nothing i have to scrape off if you uh were replacing the water pump on one that had a gasket make sure you scrape all of the old gasket off of here before you put the new water pump kit back on um, there are some water pumps that come with the gasket on the bottom of this base plate and on the top. And in that case, just make sure you clean up all the old gasket off of the top and the bottom. And make sure you put the new gasket back on the top and the bottom. This one doesn't have a uh, gasket on the top. The new kit has a uh, an O-ring that goes around the edge of this new housing, which is what I'll put back on. All right, so old water pump housing, new water pump housing. So, how I was saying earlier, this one has, this is metal. This one's just plastic. This actually has a metal insert that you can put in there. So I am gonna use this new housing. I'm gonna put this new metal insert in there and get rid of all the old stuff. So here we go. Alright, here we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Um, base plate and gasket. Let me find the where the f Ah uh, there's the gasket. Just put that on. Should go this way. Receipts.
so let's uh put this key in here. There, we'll put the new key in. That's old one. That's new one. There we go. Keys in. Holes lined up. Impeller. Going down. Slide that on there like that. Line the hole up. Bam. Uh, one thing that makes it easier when you're uh, redoing this to keep in mind is which direction your drive shaft turns in um, clockwise. Now we got to put this O-ring in here. Choose a little oil to lubricate that O-ring. Can you put it in there? Take this. And it's going to go this way. Slide this one down like that. Bam. And one thing that kind of make it easier when putting the new impeller, getting it slid into the new housing, is uh, put a little bit of oil on it. Just put some two-stroke oil in there or something, or just some gear housing oil, either one. Put pressure on the top of this housing while rotating the drive shaft clockwise, which will in turn kind of touch the blades. Sorry if you missed most of that, but yeah, push down on the housing a little bit while you're spinning the drive shaft clockwise, and it will seat all those impeller fins inside the housing then which this goes on here like such and that's designed to seat around the top of the housing like such Blend it, tighten that down. All right, so this is the new part. Slide that in there like such. Slide that in there. Put the old screw back in. And that's a wrap. That's a screwdriver. That's a wrap. I've got to find. I've got an O-ring somewhere that fits on here. I got to find that. Otherwise, I'm gonna put the old one back on. But I'm pretty sure I have a new one. So I'm gonna go find that real quick, and then I'm done. That's it. It's over. Let's see.